Understanding and visually recognizing a belt hold signal puts an investor ahead with great probabilities knowing what the belt hold signal has just done. For example, as we can see in our recommendation on TAL, on Thursday it had a big belt hold signal. And a belt hold signal is basically when they gap it down out of the trading range and come back up into the trading range. It's usually develops uh, the fact that they've taken out a lot of sellers and if they've taken out a lot of sellers and the bulls step back in sopping up all the selling it means there's no sellers in the way so if you've taken out all the sellers especially if you're in a trend that means there's less sellers in the way and that will start to start your uptrend moving a lot faster because there's no selling resistance to sell into or buy into. And that's why we kind of recommended Angie's list last week or last a couple weeks ago. Notice the huge belt hold again, gapped way out of the trading range and came right back up into the trading range. Took out a lot of selling, which means there's no uh, sellers to buy into. These type of signals, based upon human nature, which the Japanese race traders have illustrated for us, make it so that we can be in situations where the probabilities are very strong that we're in the right direction at the right time. And not only in the right direction, but in a trade that has a lot more upside potential than just an uptrending stock. What did the markets overall tell us today? Well, we aren't quite in the oversold area yet yet there was a bounce which kind of still gives us a little bit of doubt because the Dow as well as the S&P came up and didn't quite get above the uh, the T line and our stochastics are still in a downward direction so before jumping into everything long it still needs the uh, confirmation of closing above the T line in this case the Dow needs to close probably above this downtrending channel to tell us that that downtrending channel is still is in progress. And the NASDAQ traded positive off the 50, but note that this didn't do any reversal signal. So the implication is you might see a bounce, but there hasn't been anything yet to show us there's been a major change of investor sentiment. These little added factors, knowing which way the stochastics are going and where you are as far as the uh, T-line is concerned, and whether there has been a reversal signal or not, make it a lot easier for the candlestick investor to accurately assess whether they should be going long heavily or just uh, looking for a bounce and get ready to reshort. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.